Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of you is the new Sparrows Master Key Set. Well, what do you get inside it? Well, when you first look at it, it looks like you get some pins and springs, uh, some pictures of some keys with some numbers, and some keys. Now, for those of you who know what Master Keying is, you might have a very good idea as to what all of this means. But for those of you who don't, and this is a noob focused channel, let me try to explain in a very quick way. So, imagine if your complex had two buildings. And in those two buildings, they each had two rooms. Now, what you'd expect is the key to one room would not open the doors either in the same building or in the other building. I mean, that's what keys do, right? But it would also be reasonable to expect that, say, a building's facilities manager would have a key which would open all the doors in their building. But you wouldn't necessarily expect it to open the doors in the other building. Maybe the facilities manager over there has his own key. But then there's another layer to this. What if there is somebody who owns the entire complex? Now they would have a master key which would open every single door in both buildings. That is the power of master keying. But how does that actually work? How do you go from a load of um, pins and springs and a few keys to having a complex arrangement where you can open uh, one door or many doors with just a few keys. Well, imagine again if you had a normal key. You put it in the lock, it opens the lock. Happy days. You'd imagine that if you had a different key in the same lock, you put that key in, it wouldn't open it. Now imagine if we were to put in something called a master wafer. A master wafer is a very, very small, um, almost disc of brass. And you put it on top of a key pin, or indeed underneath a driver pin. And what that does is it provides another shear line. So the first key would definitely still work. The second key, which normally wouldn't work, does work in this master keyed lock. So that was a very simple overview. Um, let me just show you again with that knowledge what this is inside this box. It isn't just pins and springs. You'll notice here that you get some driver pins here in parts and some springs. Always useful to have spares. Always useful. One and three and five, they are all key pins. But four and six, just have a look there. They don't look like key pins, and they look like very, very, very short driver pins. Those are what are called master wafers. They are the extra spacers which allow you to provide multiple shear lines in a lock. If you look at this chart here, this chart explains how each combination of key will work. So, for spades, you key using pins, uh, key pins three and one, and then you'd mar put master wafers of six, 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 and six above it. And you see here that you have combinations of six and fours, down here for clubs and hearts, and diamonds here is all of the slim master wafers. So that's what that means. It's nothing to do with a key pin driver pin combination. It is the key pin wafer combination. Now let's have a look at the actual keys themselves. You get a whole load of them and I've taken three of them off the key ring. And you'll notice that they all have the card suit markings on them. What that means is that you have four keys which just have single suits on. 
So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, you can see there the diamonds and the spade. They will only work in locks which are pinned up as they are here for spades and hearts and clubs and diamonds. They will not work in uh, another lock. Then you have a key here which is spades and clubs. This key will work in this lock and in this lock configuration. Very much like um, a key for a facilities manager of one building. And then, and of course you do have the same here for hearts and diamonds. And then you have a key which will work in every single keyway. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to cut away and what I'm going to do is show you a pinning configuration. So, hopefully you can see here, if I just uh, lighten it up for you a bit, you can see that what we have is the pinning for, I believe, the spade, which is like this. Uh, key pins 33311 and then master wafer 6 in every position. So there we go. And what you can see there is how that looks as if it was inside the lock. Now, here is another key pin I got from another Sparrow's kit. And I just want to put that there and you can see that um, a standard key pin can be the same size as a short key pin plus the master wafer. What I think we should do is pop these into one of the Sparrow's cutaway locks and um, this kit is compatible with uh, I think all of Sparrow's uh, cutaways and practice locks and because this is the spade there are three keys which will work with this the spade, the key marked with spade and club and the key with clubs, heart, spades and diamonds marked on it the other keys should not work in this lock and hopefully that will demonstrate to you the power and coolness of master keying systems. Okay, back in one second. So here we are, all pinned up for the spade. And when I insert that key, what you should see there is either the driver pins in positions uh, one, three, four, all at the shear line, or the master wafer. And you can see that the core will turn freely. Okay, so that's just the spade on its own. Let's make sure those master wafers drop down. There we go. Now look at this key. This is the spade and club. This again should work, right? Well, you can see different pins, driver pins in one, two, and five are at the shear line, and the master wafers at the shear line for pins three and four. Again, works just fine. And actually, if you align those two keys, you will see where there is a difference between the two. So you can see there is um, cut one is the same, cut two is different, cut five is different, and so are cuts three and four, but they're different by exactly the same height. And that difference is, yep, the height of a master wafer. So there you go. And finally, and this is the, the truth of the matter, isn't it? This is the one which we're all waiting for, the true master key. Will this one work? And here we go again, a different set of pins. Mass wafers at one, three and four, and a standard driver pin at two and five. And yes, of course it works. But what about the other keys? Let's just choose one at random, a club. Very similar, it might be the same building as the spade, but will it work? No, actually it won't. But what you can see here is quite clearly 
whilst I think pin one is at the shear line and maybe pin two the master wafer is at the shear line you've got master wafers between the shear lines at uh, I think three four and five maybe not five but either way it doesn't work just choose another one at random let's try um, heart there you go let's try that hard to get in and again doesn't work so just goes to prove how effective master key systems are. Now, I think that this is a brilliant, brilliant kit. Please go to Sparrows and check it out on their website. I've not seen anything like it on the market and it's not only a brilliant teaching aid, there's no reason why you can actually use this um, uh, master key set. Um, although, frankly, everybody else will have the keys so maybe not but never, nevertheless it's a brilliant training aid it's really good fun it works with the sparrows um, locks uh, I just absolutely love it and what's even better I've got one to give away how do you get it well all you need to do is like the video subscribe so I think likes over there somewhere the subscribes over there and then comment below all the rules are in the description. Please read the description. Essentially, at some point, I will do a draw. I'll choose one comment at random. You can only have one comment. It will filter out those with multiple entries. And I'll choose a winner at random and I'll send them this master key set. So all you have to do is like, subscribe and comment below. Very easy. And of course, read the rules. Please read the rules, very important. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant kit. I've not seen anything like it, and I really respect Sparrows for making um, such an amazing sort of training aid, uh, and it's also just brilliant for your information and uh, knowledge. Okay, thanks for watching.